one time, Birmingham was nicknamed Bombingham because so many churches have been bombed in that city. It's 1963, it's, it was the most segregated city in the South, Bull Connor being the most infamous, horrible racist segregationist, always challenged for years by the, by the insanely brave Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth who had his own house blown up. Fred Shuttlesworth was one of the, the first people to test the law in Alabama about integration. There's this great footage of him taking his kids to a school, a segregated school in the late 50s, and being attacked by, I don't know, maybe eight to ten Klansmen with uh, chains and uh, brass knuckles, and just pummeling him, and he's just trying to go through them, and they just attacked him. I mean, he's just completely fearless. Reverend Shuttlesworth said he thought long ago he'd be dead by 40. And what is he, 85 or? People say to me, well, oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I said, but it's more of a pleasure for me to be here. Because in 56, the Klan tried to blow me into heaven. They couldn't. They tried to mob me the next year. They couldn't. They've done other things. There was like, I don't know, 16 sticks of dynamite below his head. They exploded blew up, the whole house fell down around him, uh, but he did not get a scratch on him. But I come through all of that and didn't get a scratch. Okay. The mattress was torn, the mattress, I mean the spring underneath my mattress was blown away. I tell you the truth, I have never felt as calm and cool and happy and satisfied as I was the time that bomb was exploding. So when I say my Heavenly Father watches over me, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying the real stuff. I know he cares for me on the mountain peak or on the stormy deep. No billows roll. He keeps my my heavenly Father watches over me. That's it. So I challenge these students. I talk to them all the day about it, and I speak to all of them about it. Your job is to point a better way. We got to begin getting rid of the violence because we don't even deal with that now. We got to begin getting rid of the meanness that is our tendency now is to just act mean when we don't have to. And if we could learn to just be our better self, maybe not our best, but the better self than we are. After studying you, I remember thinking of a quote by Nelson Mandela, and I don't think I have the exact words, but he said, we are made to make manifest the glory of God within us, and as we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates the fears in others. And I feel that because of that, you are an incredible hero. Not only were you able to liberate yourself from your own fears and follow your path and the, and the design of God and never question it, but you are able to garner the focuses of others in your in Birmingham and be such a profound leader that people just were compelled to follow you. And I can only hope that one day I can have a fraction of the courage and heroism that you exhibited Beautiful. throughout the 60s and today. Okay. Five, four, The reason why I started doing the give back was Minnie Jean said to me for 30 years people in the movement never heard how they affected America in a positive way. Now students write letters but it takes time to get the letters and to read them. To get this immediately I think is cathartic for our speakers. 
what he did if it had if he hadn't taken the stand that he had Birmingham probably today would not be what it is he never got the recognition that he deserved uh, that's part of blame when I'm watching a speaker and I'm watching also remembering them when they were young and vibrant and the hope that we all had when we were young about what we could do and how things would change permanently and it would be a better place and then sort of to be here and it it is somewhat a better place but it's nothing like we thought it might be you can answer the question yourself is the country one today is it well think about it and if it isn't one why and what will it take to make it become one since so many people have been trying to unite the country? <laughs>